Sun, Cancer, Leo, to your April 28th through the May 2nd reading. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, let's see what's going on with you. This message coming out. Is the emperor feeling like you're in emperor mode, having respect and leadership, or you could be dealing with somebody around that that just feels like, you know what, they're really pushing hard. You know they're pushing hard, and they might be pushing you. Hold on, guys. I got these cards. They literally landed in the trash can. That's so crazy. Like, thank you, trash can. So I didn't have to get up and get out of, out of the floor. Okay. Either you're in emperor mode right now, my friends, or you have somebody around you who is in emperor mode who could be literally helping you get out of eight of swords, uh, making you feel like your self-limiting beliefs are changing. Um, so take it whether it's your energy or their energy, okay? But it just feel like they're very, that you or them, I'm going to call it you for now. If you know it's them, change it around, my friends, okay? But you're feeling very dis disciplined and focused. But I still think in some weird way that they're, you know, if you're not 100%, this is not your energy, you are building yourself to that energy through this person, okay? Unless you know it's just you. <laughs> but your limiting beliefs and everything that's going on around you is changing as you're opening up to new perceptions. And I do feel for a lot of you that this person is helping you out in this situation. They're changing the way that you're seeing things. They're freeing your mind, right, from a lot of things that have been holding you back, really opening you up, right? There's been a lot of delays and standstills to this situation. There could have even been a lot of resistance to want to do so until maybe you met this emperor who is now building you into an emperor, or maybe you're building them. Oh. I do feel another energy coming through, guys, and it does feel like it could literally be, it could literally be a, I don't know why I want to say this, but I want to say an earth sign, even though I have no earth on this chart, except for the, the Aries Taurus here, right? I don't see anything on the table at this time, except for that. So, yeah, through giving to, oh, now here comes the Taurus card. Okay, thanks, Spirit. Okay, just erase everything I said, because here comes Taurus on the, on the table now. <laughs> or they have Taurus in their chart. <clears throat> There's a lot of give and take over here. It feels like there's a lot of generosity. So it just feels like there is this very opening up piece going on right now where it just feels like, you know what, this is where I'm really finding my discipline. I feel like everything that I've gone through has its turning mark. There is a huge turning mark over here to where it feels like you're actually getting stable and feeling like your structure and stability are coming back around. Um, and you're feeling more in your power at this time. Because it does feel like there was a lot of disrespect going on around you with someone um, trying to avoid conflict. So it does feel like, you know what, there was a lot of diversity going on that you're getting that you're getting past, right? So it's still trying to get past a lot of that. So there could be also some recovery from financial loss going on over here. Maybe this emperor is helping you um, by giving you a job. Maybe it's a new person uh, helping you out or a family member helping you out but however it is it does feel like there is a lot of improvement and i i'm sorry guys it just feels like this other person is really you know turning the way you're thinking and doing things around in your life really helping you out with the six of pentacles the fool over here is the new beginnings there is a new pop possibilities they're helping you take the risks maybe that you didn't want to take before Guys, if you know you're helping this person do that, then take it that way. But there is definitely some kind of pleasure going on over here where it does feel like you have the support. That is a support card as well by saying, I have the optimism and the trust in, you know, in everything that I'm doing and I'm trusting in this situation as I'm coming to the understanding as I am getting the sun. Whoa, hello. So all the conflict, all the mental conflict is turning into pleasure. It's turning into the sun. It's taking a positive shift and cycle around you, right? And knowing that all is well, feeling your securities and your comfort zone coming back from wherever this conflict and being in your head was, right? There's a lot of planning and a lot of patience going on over here. I mean, it does feel like, you know, this person is 
could be planning to come to you to help you out even more. They're planning on showing you new ideas, new ways of doing things, opening your mind to new creativities. Um, somehow or another, there is something going on where this person is really helping you feel like you have a homecoming, feeling like you have the harmony within the situation. Right, getting you back to where you feel this is where my stability is, this is where my vitality is, and making it feel like you win the race to this situation. So, you know, they're, I do feel like they are nurturing. And yes, I do feel like you are dealing with some kind of earth sign for a lot of you, um, some kind of a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo in the chart, or that person could even be a Leo helping you out. <clears throat> right. They're teaching you to hold on to what it is you need. They could even be telling you how to save money, um, however it is, but they're making you feel more in control of the way you're doing things. And over here it's saying it is kind of a slow moving situation. I do feel the, you know, I just really feel it's them as the emperor in your energy. Um, is a, move, a slow moving energy that's coming in to support you. There's a very nurturing love over here. Um, from this person they really do like you could even be a new love that's coming in to want to help you out within this situation they have a lot of great ideas maybe they're a celebrity um within the community so you know maybe they have a really good business really good business mind they know maybe they've you know, learned how to save money and they want to teach you as well helping your business grow however it is uh, let's get some cards over here. Feeling like you definitely have some support, though, over here. There it is again, generosity. It, there's a lot of give and take, though. So it's not just like them giving. It's like you give them nurturing and love back and friendship, right? It's not just like them just coming in and just giving you everything and you're not giving anything back. There's a very good, generous give and take over here. They see you as a very generous person. I mean, it almost feels like they're like, you, you know what? It's kind of crazy. Like, you don't, you might not, let's put it this way. Like, if you didn't have anything, you give the shirt off your back to this person. They know that. That's why they want to help you. They want to be there with you. They see that, you know what? You're worth a lot, right? You're worth a lot. Maybe they don't have a lot of friends and, you know, you're their best friend. You know what I mean? They can tell you all kinds of things. They see you as a very generous person. A trusting person, a person who gives back just, you know what, the love and the nurturing that they may need. You know, I mean, you got to think about it. You know, there's a lot of people out there that have a lot of wealth. They ain't got no love. They ain't got no real friendship. So it could just be, you know what, you're showing your true colors. You're, you're being a true friend to me. Um, so take that how it is. Planting the seeds along the way. There's a lot of preparation going on over here as it's kind of like they're, they're seeing you trying your hardest, you know, to look at all the investments, look at all the, you know, long-term views of the situation. And I do feel like they're also looking at the long-term views with you. I actually think that you guys, if you, can, you might, this person may be a friend, but they may have the intentions of, this could be in, for some of you, not a lot of you, but for some of you, this could actually turn into a love situation. You might not know that because you might just be friends. Um, but it definitely looks like it could end up in marriage or proposal. They may like you a lot more than you think. Maybe you like them a lot more than they think because I, I do see that as well. It doesn't have to be. I mean, if it's a family member, you're not marrying your family. It could just be the home coming for you right? Them, your family members helping you out, take that how it resonates. But it's definitely you walking away from all of the, you know, um, conflicts and all the diversities that are going around you. They're saying, no, let's go. We got to get out of this. And yeah, there it is. They're helping you move away from the baggage, away from the problems, away from all of the things that everybody is throwing at you, um, whatever problems there are. And they're really helping you look at that great advisor over here could be dealing with a Aquarius or a Gemini or a Libra who has all the great ideas. They're great informers. They know how to get business done. You know, he could be a lawyer, um, somebody of, you know, the courthouse, something, something where he legal advisor, good with money, knows what they're doing, um, smart, very analytically 
um, minded for sure. Cutting down to the truth of the situations. This is the type of person that's when they are talking about certain situations, they don't mix their emotions with, with work. So when you're talking with them and they're, if they're asking, you know, literally if they're trying to teach you something about money, they're not going to put emotion into that because it's all analytical. It is, this is the way it is, right? Like talking to your lawyer, they don't, you know, oh, I'm so sorry that you and your husband, they don't care. That's not a part of what that is. What it is is we need to get you into the courthouse, away from this person, do this, and this is the way we're going to do it. They don't, you know what I'm saying? There's no puppy, nothing, right? They can do that later on their own time. If you guys are, if you are dealing with a lawyer or something and you guys are starting to um, hit it off, they'll do that on their own time, but not during business. You see what I mean? Business is business. We don't mix business with pleasure. Let's put it that. That's what it is. We don't mix, they don't mix business with pleasure. No emotions. Okay, that's, yeah, you got the Wheel of Fortune coming out underneath the sun it's like this is the way it is right everything's in your favor and this is the way that it's going to be throughout the ups and downs and everything it just feels like this is a faded encounter for you guys to be able to have this moment together so that they can help you through whatever situation it is so whatever the third cup is it's like you and this person and the third cup right and they're giving you the strength that's what it said they're giving you the strength to carry on so whatever problems you may have, and there's the infinity sign over her head, which, um, you know, this card, the strength card is actually a part of uh, the uh, magician card, if you think about it. These got the infinity also. Um, but it's definitely something that's like, you know what, this is fated to happen. This is where your strength is. This is what you're going to do, right? As they're bringing this strength back into your life, getting you back to your health, Getting you back to your happiness, your joy, the things that you enjoy. <clears throat> wow. So this is an this is what I call the faded meeting, right? You met this person on purpose. You know, whether it was for love, friendship, to help you out. Um, if it was a family member, it's faded for you guys too. I feel literally, because it is faded. But if it's a family member, it's somebody you haven't talked to, you haven't talked to in a while. It could be like a cousin I haven't seen in 10 years. Why all of a sudden is my cousin coming, you know, coming toward me? Because they were told to. They were pushed to. The universe pushed them to come talk to you. It has to be something like that. Everything's going to move very fast where it felt like everything was moving very slow. Right? With the king of wands. Wow. So you definitely are, see, that's it. They're building you. And I said it. They're building you into emperor mode. Right? As you're becoming the king of wands, the next thing after the king of wands is pretty much the emperor, right? So, so yeah, this is like the new beginnings. This is where everything is coming together. This is where everything says this is where you're going to shine. Yep, there it is, emperor. I cut it. I knew it. So, as they're the emperor helping you, they're building you into the emperor. See? I knew it. That's why in the very beginning of the reading is like either you're the emperor, or they're the emperor. They're building you into being the emperor. As they're bringing back your leadership roles as the king of wands, they're building you into, yes, and putting you into the spotlight, into your happiness, putting your wealth and all your things back together. Wow. Wow. And I got three kings up here. That's one of them. That's them. Those two are you, and they're building you into the emperor. So between the leadership of the emperor there's the fire of the emperor because this is an aries taurus card okay cusp card there's the leadership that they're building within you as themselves or you're doing it to them right one way or another and here's the wealth and the stability of the emperor coming together and once those two cards come together boom you're the emperor right 100 everybody knows that right that's what builds an emperor the wealth the stability, the leadership, the control. Fire meets earth. That's what the emperor is. Fire meets earth. Aries, Taurus, cusp sign. And he holds the key. He holds the key to the understanding of success, of what it means, right, to be practical, to be focused, to be powerful, to rule, to sit in his throne. He has all those understandings. Structure, very structured person. 
They don't fence sit. They don't mess around, right? When it's time to go to work, it's time to go to work. Let's go. And that's why they're coming up also as the king of swords because they're saying, this is where the analytical mind comes is the determination to get things done. I'm practical. I know what I'm doing. This is me. I'm not messing around. You know, and like I said, if it's going to be a love relationship later, I'll let you know when I become the king of cups. But right now, I am the king of swords and the emperor, and we got things to do. We got to move, 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 so we can build this strength and get you back to where you need to be somehow or another. Whatever your case, you know, whatever the case may be. If it is a love relationship, how do they feel about you? What is going on over here? Because for some of you, I do feel like this is going to end up in a love situation. Whether this is your legal advisor or your lawyer. This is make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided on. I'm telling you, they're going to do that. I see that. But they're more career finance focused. See? It's like, when the time comes, I'll make the move. Right now, we got to worry about your finances and your career. Okay? got to worry about what's going on. Of course, this is for those of you who are single or whatever. Right? And true love, yeah. So it does feel like that, that. There it is. For others of you, it just could be just some friend, right? Let your friends help you. They're just in there. But it also could be a friend that wants to make the move on you. So, okay. Okay, my friends. And... That was it for you. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.